yeah, so why don't you kind of introduce yourself, let us know what you're all about, and start there. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So, um, you guys know me now, Kiba Kirabo. Um, I started dog training professionally in 2016. I had moved out to New York for college. Uh, there was uh, a local trainer here in Brooklyn that I informally did like an apprenticeship under, you know, I was just working with him here and there, helping him out, uh, not getting paid, but I, I love dogs. Prior to that, I had just been dog walking, dog sitting in dog training with dogs. I could get my hands on, you know, just like, Hey, I could help your dog walk or do this, whatever. Um, but that was my first real exposure to proper dog training with structure, with some science behind it. It was actually him at that time who introduced me to Larry Crone, who was really like putting out a lot of content yeah. on YouTube. I mean, he's, I think he's probably been the most generous in terms of just stuff that was being put out for free on YouTube. So I started kind of absorbing a lot of his content, a lot of other YouTube trainers um, over the years and kind of implementing it into dogs I could get my hands on locally. As time went on, so over the next couple of years, I started getting a little bit better, getting a little more more dogs on my hands. It was all part time for the first couple of years, uh, and then about junior year, sophomore, junior year of college is when I really started to put in serious time. You know, mm-hmm. um, I mean, outside of school, I, that's all I was doing. Um, and then by by the end of my college career, I was pretty much working full time as a dog trainer still had other gigs to make ends meet and stuff, but, uh, dog training was paying my bills, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then as graduation neared, I was like, do I go all in on this or do I, so I studied economics. Mm-hmm. Um, I got into grad school for econ and, you know, um, my family immigrated to the U S so, you know, they, they obviously were pushing, you know, of course you got to go to grad school. You got to yeah. do this. And, mm-hmm. you know, but, but I really enjoyed dog training. And at the same time, I had seen the potential financially to be able to support myself. And so, uh, it was literally within like the last couple of months of senior year, I was just like, you know what, like I can always go to grad school, you know, but if I stop and like, I really just stopped dog training. I don't know how easy it'll be to like get myself back into it fully again. Yeah. You definitely so, need some momentum, you know, initially as you're getting yeah, started with it. Yeah. Especially as when it's, you know, um, as a small business, it's, it's not easy to just, you know, stop and then start again. I, I think, I think, you know, yeah, no, I would agree with uh, you. They say that they say the same about school. To be fair, they say the same. Once you leave school, it's not easy to get. I think with anything, once you leave it, it's not so easy to get back into it. Mm-hmm. But I, I kind of just put all the chips in. Um, I, I had always gone to this local groomers uh, because they have a self service. So I would take my dog there, pay thirty bucks, and do my whole grooming. And I remember one day kind of going down to the basement area to use their bathroom when I, when I was there, and. Um, this was like towards the end of my senior year, Mm -hmm. I saw that the space was just not used. They kind of just had a bunch of storage and stuff. So I talked to the owner. She was really cool. And, uh, I basically made a partnership deal with them. And, and, uh, within a couple of months of graduation last year, I just graduated last year. Within a couple of months, we, uh, renovated the whole space, turned it into a, a training facility. And, uh, since then I've just, been all in with the with the business yeah it's been a really cool it's been a really cool past year you know i was uh you know i i finally got the facility up and running i hired another trainer about six months ago now yeah Uh, so now it's now it's we're full on running with it you know 